serious uh, event, correct? Yes, it is. And it's one that the Sheriff's Office takes with sincere, uh, 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 I guess it, I would say, uh, uh, it's very aggressive in dealing with. It. Yes. Okay. Uh, and so, uh, and, and the fear is, if something's not done, uh, that, that the situation could escalate uh, and uh, the situation could grow more violent, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, um, I understand that Stephen DeHutt and Kelly Hatch didn't cohabitate. Right? They did. They did at one point, but yeah, not at the time of the incident. Uh, I believe at the time of the incident they were living together. <clears throat> Very well. I have no further questions at this time. One final okay. I'm sorry, I meant to ask it before. Um, the question you were asked about Kelly Capps' credibility with, with regards to the incident, it was that was the area that you felt she was not truthful with you. Is that correct, the domestic violence incident? Yes. In your experience as a law enforcement officer, is it uncommon for a, for a victim of domestic violence to lie about it? No. With regards to what she told you about the party and the beer pong and all those things, did you feel like she was being honest with you about what Travis Dean did that night? Yes. That's all. One more. I'll show you that document that I think you've spoken to, uh, and this is the text messages exchanged by the one here, sir. Uh, the text messages, um, yeah, uh, that were exchanged by Dean and um, Dean and um, Kelly Caps. Is there a date on that, sir? That those text messages were exchanged. December 16, 2011. And that would have been two days after uh, the uh, arrest of Stephen DeHutt. 
Yes. Can you read to me, sir, what Kelly Capps wrote um, uh, and those first couple of bubbles to Mr. Dean? I hope you're happy. You have officially ruined my Christmas, my relationship with my friends, probably my relationship with Stephen, and I'm pretty much my and pretty much my life in general. Obviously, this is what you wanted, so congratulations. I clearly told you that I didn't want any of this to happen. And when you went against my something, uh, uh, wishes, and have ruined everything. That's good for now. And now we'll move up. We'll move on to the rest in just a second. Now, Miss um, Caps, this is two days after Stephen Bell's arrest. Yes. And would you agree that Ms. Uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Cap sounds angry at Ms. Dean for what happened to her boyfriend? Yes. Uh, you, you didn't see anywhere in here where she denied Stephen hit her, right? No. Okay. Um, uh, now, uh, uh, if you read what Travis Dean wrote in reply. I'm sorry things are shitty, and I'm sorry you think that's what I wanted to happen, because it's not. I did my job as I'm obligated to do. Uh, as I'm obligated to, I'm as, as I'm sworn to, and if you hate me because of it, then so be it. Okay. He didn't write in there that, hey honey, why don't you date me now, now that Stephen's out of the way, right? Right. He didn't ask her for some type of uh, meeting where they could talk out their feelings, right? Correct. Right. He just said he don't like it tough. Correct. Would that be fair to say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, did you tell me... This next message is a photo message that was sent by Ms. Uh, Captain, Mr. Dean, about two hours later, sir. Can you show me that that depicts? That is the Volusia County Sheriff's Office patrol car with the plastic cups on the hood. Sir, uh, given your, the depth of your investigative uh, knowledge and experience, after having reviewed the first page uh, of, of that uh, string of text messages where Ms. Ms. Capps, as you will agree with me, was displaying some anger and resentment about what happened, do you think that that uh, photo was meant as a threat to Mr. Dean? Possibly. And what, that photo was the photo taken in Mr. Dean's car on the, uh, November 5, 2011 as residence, right? Yes. After the beer pong beer bomb game had been played, correct? Or after, I'm not sure. Right, so it's reasonable, so to, it's reasonable for you to conclude that that photo was meant as a warning. There's no text associated with it, so. I Sir, common experience, um, uh, if, 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 would, would you agree with me that that photo showing uh, cups on Mr. Uh, uh, Dean's car uh, might be evidence that Mr. Dean engaged in some type of violation of Sheriff's Office or Volusia County policy? Yes. Okay. You can you imagine any other purpose Ms. Cap sort of had for sending that photo after I sending after having sent all these angry text messages uh, to express anything other than a warning? Could be. Can you think you me another explanation? No, no, no. Objection. He doesn't know why she sent it, and she's here, and he can ask her oh, why I'm she sent it. I'm asking her him right now. Do you think there can be any other explanation for why she sent those text His messages? His opinion about that Let is not relevant. Answer. I like to ask the question, and then she, he, he, you can object, and they can rule it out, and I can move forward. Right. Do you think there's any other reasonable explanation for her sending this photo after this tirade about how angry she was, other than to serve as a warning to Mr. Dean? Objection to what this witness thinks about why she sent it. She's here. He can ask her why she sent it. No. This witness can answer that question. Well, the witness, in fairness, has been asked to uh, draw inferences from all the other evidence that's been obtained. In fact, that's his job. His job is to draw inferences from facts. He's an investigator. That's what investigators do. He did that in the IA report. He presented to the sheriff. He drew inferences to help the sheriff make the decisions. Now he's being precluded from drawing an inference here when the information might help serve my client. I'd ask you to reconsider your opinion, but that's my argument in opposition to the objection. That's during an investigation, but in this context, you have the witness here, and you can question her. Very well. I have no further questions at this time. Any other questions from anybody? Okay, let's take a break. Uh, do we need to...